Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Sapphire 6450 Low Profile Graphics Card. Now this is part of the Flex Edition series of graphics cards from Sapphire. You can basically connect three monitors out of the box with no active display port uh, adapters required, okay? Low profile bracket included, of course, and uh, one gig of uh, DDR3 type memory. Supports all the latest technology so you can run the latest types of games or, you know, software that requires DirectX 11. But the good thing here is that it has HDMI out for your true HD and uh, also a dongle there so you can have it uh, to DVI, your VGA to DVI, and of course your low profile bracket that I mentioned, you can replace the full size if you're going to put this in a home theater PC and you want a small little case. Drivers and manual of course, everything there for the Sapphire Club. And uh, looking here at the heatsink, very nice little heatsink. I gotta say, good aerodynamics going through it, good airflow for dissipating the uh, the heat out of there. It occupies two slots, though the width of it. I like to see these types of low profile cards only occupy one uh, slot instead of two when you're trying to put it in a tiny little box. But other than that, no power connectors needed. Just put it in a PCI Express 2.0. Um, slot on your motherboard, 400 watt power supply and you're good to go. Here's the outputs, okay, you got two DVIs there and the HDMI for your true HD video pleasure. Now looking at the rest of the card, nothing really out of the ordinary, just take out the uh, faceplate if you want to install the small one, okay, and um, just take out the screws and just uh, put this one in its uh, in its place, that's really about it. Now, the test system that I'm going to be using today is a Windows 7 64-bit machine with the Catalyst drivers 11.12, okay? But I've got an APU, so I've made a review about this APU already. The AMD 3650 APU comes on, uh, on the board there, installed, ready to go with all of these other components. This APU has an integrated GPU on it already, okay? And we're going to crossfire it to work um, best, okay, and also you get more bang for your buck when you crossfire a card like the 6450 from Sapphire with an APU from AMD. You're truly going to get the best performance out of that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So course, core clock, 625 memory clock, 800 megahertz, okay, and uh, I've got it crossfired here with the 6530D from uh, the APU, okay, so that's uh, the processor, the integrated GPU and the um, 6450 from Sapphire all working together, okay? And this awesome low budget um, Crossfire configuration on this machine, okay? So this is something unusual. I, I don't usually Crossfire things like this, but this is a good idea to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get performance, right? So if you're trying to do a home theater PC, you wanna do some casual gaming and stuff like that, um, after you install the cards and you enable in the BIOS the dual graphics, you go into the software, the Catalyst drivers here, and enable the uh, dual graphics as well, so that way it can get the APU and the GPU to work together, okay? Uh, you will only see this type of screen if you have this CPU uh, and configuration, okay? Otherwise, you don't really see that. Now, temperatures are low. You know, it's very silent. No complaints there on that one, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. The performance... The score here in 3D Mark Vantage, well, it's basically double, okay? If I um, remove the Crossfire, I get half the performance. So these benchmarks are with the Crossfire enabled, okay? In Haven, for example, the DirectX 11 benchmark here with these settings, if I have it on Crossfire enabled, this is what I'm getting here. As you can see, the score 335, 13.3 frames per second, minimum or average. Um, if I disable the crossfire, okay, so I went and redid this test again with the crossfire disabled, same settings, okay, same exact same settings, I get less than half the performance, okay, less than half the performance. Now remember, this is a $59.99 US dollar, that's the uh, suggested retail price, and um, you can't really ask for too much for that price, right, but you can really get good performance, as you can see here, with crossfire enabled, okay, so... What did I like about the card? Well, I mean, I can't really complain too much for what you're getting out of the box. Supports three displays, silent, low profile, uh, support for all the latest technologies, $60 US. I mean, the only thing I could complain about is that it occupies two slots instead of one. And uh, it um, 
uses DDR3 type memory instead of DDR5. Other than that, great little card for entry level types of machines or home theater PCs. I'd like to thank Sapphire Tech for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.